Has JJ Reddick officially succumbed to the temptation of hot take sports media? Well, perhaps. Not too long ago, Reddick caused a stir by saying Larry Bird shouldn't be considered one of the greatest three-point shooters of all time. He then foolishly said there's no difference in physicality between Bird's era and today's game. He doubled down on that statement a couple of days after. There's plenty of people that have shot more, made more, and guess what? Made more at a higher percentage than Larry Bird from three. I'm not saying Larry Bird is not one of the greatest shooters ever. He's not one of the greatest three-point shooters ever. Bird doesn't have the three-point numbers because that wasn't part of his game. It wasn't part of the NBA game back then. During the 1985-86 season, Bird led the league with 82 made three-pointers. He hit 82 of 194 shots from behind the arc, a 42.3% clip. During the 2015-16 season, Curry took 886 three-pointers, making 402. In the 80s, there were post-up centers, with most teams looking to get the ball inside. Today, the game is a barrage of three-pointers. When Russo spoke about the differences in eras, Redick lost some points. He made a dumb comment by saying there was no difference in physicality between the 1980s and today. I, when, I, when I watch, let's say Steph Curry, for example. Right. When I watch Steph Curry off the ball in a playoff game. Oh, he's great. Getting grabbed and held by Marcus Smart. They're attached to him at all times. Right. Then when I watch Larry Bird come off a pin down and no one's within five feet of him and they're shooting the gap. You're telling me one is more physical than the other? Dominique Wilkins, who had some intense battles with Bird, had a tough time holding back when weighing in on Reddick's comments. First of all, Reddick don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm going to say it. Right? I agree. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. I'm like, what basketball was you watching? To say something as idiotic as that is ridiculous. The physicality that was a part of the league. Hey, look. When you can put your hand on a guy's hip and make him go a certain way, if you can put that elbow in his chest to slow him up, which we call slowing a guy up, how many guys can deal with that type of pressure? And for J.J. Redick, who've played this game, I'm very disappointed that he has said something so stupid. Wilkins didn't want to make it about his era. He just wanted to prove how foolish Redick's take was. We had our time. It was a great time. It's their time now. Yes. But don't crap on us to prove your point. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense and it's not valid. I just don't like to disrespect. Yeah. Yeah. And to say that about Larry Bird, yeah. it was yeah, less, less physical. Is he back stupid? To back, to yeah. back MVP. It, it, it's, just a, it's just a stupid comment to make. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with Steph Curry or Larry. Yeah. It's the content. Exactly. We just of, broke down the, yeah. the it's, end it's, result. It doesn't make sense. The and he should know better than that. Yeah. To think today's NBA is more physical than the 1980s is flat out ludicrous. And Reddick should be called out for the foolish comments. J.J. Reddick knows basketball. He's played it at a high level for years, including 15 seasons in the NBA. But he seemingly has no clue about basketball in the 1980s. And Reddick specifically addressed the criticism he faced from Dominic Wilkins. Did disrespect Larry Bird? I questioned the narrative around physicality. I said, for every montage video you can show me of Larry Bird being in a headlock underneath the basket, I can show you a montage video of him shooting open jumpers, of him coming off pin downs. Yeah, I can show Steph the same way. I can show Steph getting held. I can show Larry getting held. It's like, it's all basketball. Though he was a fierce Celtics rival for the entirety of his career, Michael Cooper vehemently sided with Larry Bird in a recent debate over the famous Celtics place in NBA history. Apparently, this touched a nerve with Cooper, who spent much of his career trying to stop Bird. Well, you know what I'm going to say. This J.J. Reddick, this kid here, you know, this kid here who's a journeyman, played for six different teams. All his accolades came in college played 15 years in the NBA, was being shifted around from team to team because all he could do was shoot, and he wasn't that great of a shooter. He was a poor man, Danny Ainge. In today's NBA, I don't know what game he's looking at. If You can't touch the guy. Anytime you touch anybody, a three-point shooter, come close to them when they're landing, it's a foul. J.J. Reddick needs to be quiet and stop trying to compare. He later made his thoughts on Bird's place in history clear. Larry Bird was one of the greatest three-point shooters that's ever played this game. Percentages. It ain't about that. It's about hitting big shots. Things that he couldn't do as a player without getting a pick set for him. So 
you know, when people compare each generation, and I appreciate and love basketball. I enjoy each decade. You know, I have so much respect going all the way back to the 60s and watching Bob Cousy. Reminded that Reddick had also trash-talked Cousy's place in NBA history, the NBA analyst claimed in a 2022 discussion that Cousy was being guarded by plumbers and firemen. Cooper defended yet another Celtic. It's, it's sad because um, you, you have to have respect from where this game comes from. All these guys in today's game, I'll say from maybe – five years ago up until where it's going to go are living, playing, breathing off the shoulders of Bob Cousy, Will Chamberlain, Bob Pettit, players that came in. Cooper even clarified that he was defending Bird even if he's not a fan. And you know what? I hate Larry Bird, but I respect the hell out of that man because I went against him in all those championships and during the year. I, I All we did as the Lakers is thought about the Boston Celtics. Delivering his final thoughts on the subject, the 1986-1987 NBA Defensive Player of the Year had a withering take about Redick. Man, listen, that guy has no clue of how basketball was played in the 80s. And I guarantee you this, J.J. Redick, if you had played in the 80s, this is Michael Cooper talking, I'd have locked your ass up. You wouldn't have got a shot off. You wouldn't have got nothing off. You had spent more time on the bench than on the floor. When I was on the floor, you couldn't have played when I was on the court. And I'm the only reason to give Redick a pass on this bird comment is because the three-point shot during the 1980s wasn't a big part of the game. For the Boston Celtics legend, it played a small role in his all-around game. Redick could have said Bird isn't one of the best all-time dunkers in the NBA, and it would make just as much sense. And do you know why the three-point shot had little value in the 80s? Because players got physical by pounding the ball inside and posting each other up. In the 1980s, you had post-up centers constantly fighting for position in the paint. Today's centers, whatever is left of them, jack up three-point shots. There are no more Patrick Ewing slash Hakeem Olajuwon post-up battles in the paint. Nobody plays with their back to the basket. The three-point shot dominates. But that's just the way the game has evolved. It's a different game than it was 40 years ago. There's no denying those games of the past, however, were much more physical. Another reason why those 80s games were more physical is because there were rivalries. Heated rivalries. Boston Celtics vs. Los Angeles Lakers Boston Celtics vs. Philadelphia 76ers Boston Celtics vs. Detroit Pistons And Chicago Bulls vs. Detroit Pistons were just a few of the major rivalries that dominated the 80s. Those teams truly hated each other. After those teams played, the players didn't hug each other like today. They despised each other and played hard. Sometimes they played too hard. We saw Boston's Kevin McHale clothesline Kurt Rambis on his way for a layup during the 1984 NBA Finals. Robert Parrish pummeled Bill Lambeer with multiple punches during Game 5 of the 1987 Eastern Conference Finals. No technical foul was given in either instance. It's a part of 80s basketball. Bird may not be a top 5 three-point shooter of all time, despite winning all three of the three-point shooting contests he entered. He was a damn good three-point shooter. Reddick was really way off for the physicality part. Anyone who witnessed both eras will tell you Reddick is wrong on that front. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content.